everyone, I'm Emily and for this week's video I wanted to do something special in conjunction with the harvest season. Today we'll be making a dish that always brings me back home and it's one of the many things that makes me proud to call myself Sarawakian. Today we'll be making Laksa Sarawak. We are making this laksa from scratch so we start off by making the paste. This recipe yields 6 to 8 servings and you can store any leftover paste in the fridge. I don't have a heavy duty blender, I only have a small one for juices, but we can make do. It just means that we have to cut up the ingredients into smaller chunks before blending. So pop everything into the blender, shallots, lemongrass, candle nuts. The full recipe for this will be in the description box down below. If you can get blachan, pure, instead of the one mixed with sambal, it would be best. I couldn't find any so I had to substitute with this. I'm going to add a bit of oil and water into this just to aid the blending process. Then blend this until you get a smooth paste. In a pan with a generous amount of oil, pour in the paste and cook it until it becomes a dry brownish red paste. I know what some of you are thinking. Okay, the reason why I don't wait until it's too hot is because I find that the oil splashes a lot and it makes a big mess in my kitchen. So this is just my style to save a bit of cleaning. But yeah, stir continuously to avoid sticking and burning. Add extra oil if need be. After about 15 minutes, you should get this. Now to make the broth. You want a smoking hot pot with a bit of oil. Saute some chicken bones and prawn shells until you get a nice aroma and coloration on them because this is what's going to give your laksa broth its flavor. Pour in enough water to cover the bones and shells, bring it up to a boil and then down to a simmer and leave it simmering for 20 minutes. Once that's done, strain your broth and pour it back into the pot. Add in a bit of salt to your broth and boil your chicken breast which will be your garnish for later. In the meantime, you can prep your other garnishes as well so you can fry your omelette and you can blanch your bean sprouts. Once your chicken breast is cooked, shred it and leave it aside for now. Repeat the step with your fresh deveined prawns. Now you have a flavorful broth ready to be added with your laksa paste, coconut milk and sugar. Season this to your liking with salt and sugar. Boil your bihun noodles last just before serving and that's it! You can assemble your laksa just like how I'm showing you here and have your calamansi lime and sambal blachan condiment ready on the side for serving. I think laksa sarawa is one of the best dishes in the world that deserves a bit more recognition. The gravy is just so packed with flavors and the coconut milk adds that perfect richness to it that just binds all the flavors that's going on. This is perfection in one bite. <laughs> Barang yang dia kita akan berdak video tu, aku akan mengucapkan ke kita selamat hari gawai, kayu gerai-gerai nyamai. Mengharap kita sebilia, lantai memujur belama. Happy Harvest Festival as well to all my friends in Sabah and to all my Muslim friends. Selamat hari raya, maaf zahir dan batin. That's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, like and share it and subscribe if you want to see more. This has been Colors of Flavors. Thank you for watching.